Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, and welcome to the Specialist Trading Educational Presentation of How I Find and Trade the Short-Term Trend. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, what is so important about the trend? Why can't I just follow that stock or that currency pair or that, you know, that uh, uh, future that really, uh, you know, gives me a good signal maybe with the uh, jobless claims or maybe with the support and resistance? Why do I need to know what the trend is and how important is it really? Well, that's a valid question, but let me uh, answer that by sharing with you a chart here in letter W, okay? This is going back to uh, February, just a couple of months ago. As you can see, the stock has been heading lower, okay? So at this point, most of you would say, well, sure, we're in a downtrend, we're headed lower. But here's the trouble. You don't really uh, respect the trend, as I've seen with most traders, because we're always taught, and myself included when I first started trading, try and pick bottoms or pick tops. For example, even though you know that the trend is down, most traders would look at this last bar right here and say, well, this is a reversal. We opened lower on a gap down and then we closed at or near the very high of that particular day. So what is the market telling me? It's telling me that it bottomed out, that I should most likely buy here because we're probably gonna bounce and I'm gonna get a really nice profit. So I'm gonna pick the low and buy, okay? So this is why most people really need to follow the trend because look what happened, okay? The downtrend is still in place, and what you're really doing is basically swimming upstream. Let's say at this point, after you took a loss, you say to yourself, okay, we're in a trend, so I guess I'm just gonna stay out of the market. Or maybe even you didn't sell, and you're just saying, well, gosh, you know, I'm going to uh, maybe reverse and go short now. Maybe you're a little bit more aggressive. So you decide either to stay out of the market or stop and reverse, and then this happens, okay? This is why it's so important to follow the trend because you will increase your odds for consistency if you are in sync with the trend. But most people don't have any way in which to find it and don't know, you know how to use it or what a valid tool is to tell them what the trend is. Well, in today's presentation, I'm gonna share with you a simple tool that I've been trading for over four decades now that really identifies the short-term trend better than anything I've used in my over four decades of trading. And you'll see how simple it is by applying it on our new platform, the PTS Primo Charting Platform. I developed this and designed it with ProTrader Strategies to make trend finding and trend trading simple. So welcome to this presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. 10 years ago, I teamed up with ProTrader Strategies with one goal, and that was simply to educate traders. So we are first and foremost an educational company. If you come here today thinking that this is gonna be a webinar like the other ones you've attended, uh, maybe this past week or this past month where the guy's gonna tell you what stock he likes or what the perfect market is or this new uh, you know, uh, time frame that uh, you should be trading that really helps you identify those fast moving markets, uh, you come to the wrong place because that's not what we do. In fact, that's not what we believe. It's our opinion that that is really what's keeping you from your success. Because if you look at the basic format of that, the basic uh, structure, you're looking for someone or something, some indicator or some, some tool to tell you what to do. Now that, in my opinion, is the reason why most traders fail. This is really why most traders fail because you're taking yourself out of the game. What you need to do is be educated, figure out what you like and what makes you feel comfortable with trading, and then you make your own trading decisions. In my 43 years of trading, that is the only way one can become a consistent trader. The only way not by going to a chat room and finding what everyone else is doing, not by waiting for the jobless claims or the unemployment figures to see what the market's going to do, not by listening to some guru even on a webinar. It doesn't work. Why, how do I know? Well, I tried this when I first started trading some four decades ago and it didn't work then. So it's not about to miraculously turn around and start working now. So what I found out is that education is what will empower you, what will give you that knowledge and that confidence to pull the trigger on your own so that you just don't have a couple of good trades, you have a couple of maybe good decades behind you. That's our goal, to educate traders, okay? And you'll see the attention to detail I give in trying to educate you today. So this is gonna be a great educational presentation, but before we begin, we're first required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a lot of performance results using this particular method, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you 
will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. So as you're taking a brief moment to view that, I see we have a lot of new faces and names today in our webinar. So if you haven't done so already, please feel free to follow us on Twitter. I post daily information, educational information, uh, anywhere from little bits of financial wisdom to signals our strategies have generated, explaining what these uh, methods are based on, and showing you a lot of clear-cut examples on how we do things at Specialist Trading. So lots of great free educational information. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now remember, as I stated, I've already stated numerous times, we're a little bit different. We are first and foremost an educational company. You see, it's our goal to teach you how to trade. We're not here to force feed you signals. We're not here to tell you what the perfect market is or the perfect time frame. We're not here to tell you what to buy as soon as this presentation concludes or what to sell. We're here to teach you so that you can make those own decisions on your own. Once again, in my opinion, this is the only way one can become consistent. So what I'm going to be sharing with you today is a great method. I use this in my own personal trading. But before we begin, since this is a class, I want you to ask me as many questions as possible. But since we have a good crowd here today, please wait till the end of today's presentation. I promise I'll get to each and every one of your questions. I just do not want to stop for every slide to answer a question. That way we'll be here far too long. I have roughly about 150 slides here to share with you. So please, if you have a question, wait till the very end. The only question I will answer is this, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, don't worry. We will send each and every one of you a link to this recording so you can watch at your own leisure. All right. OK, with that stated, let's begin today's educational presentation. I want to start off by what I learned trading on the floor of the exchange, because that's where I first started my trading career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years, and out of those years, I was a specialist. Here's the only uh, problem. When I first started out, I did all the things I was supposed to do. You know, I, uh, we didn't have chat rooms or trading rooms then, but we had newsletters. We didn't have, uh, you know, internet webinars, so we had newsletters and blogs that, that I subscribed to. I listened to all of those and all the different gurus that were telling me what the best stocks were. I, I waited with bated breath on all the stocks I was trading, roughly about 50 or 60 stocks, and I had all the analyzed earnings report of what the earnings were supposed to be. Plus, I, I listened to all the so-called gurus on TV, and not one thing helped me to become a more successful trader. Not one. Sure, I would have a good trade every now and then, but then I'd give it back on the next trade. So I was really worried about whether I was going to be on the floor much longer. And here's what my mentors taught me, and it's really sunk in. And here's what I want to teach you today. Believe it or not, the main purpose of trading is not to make money. Now, I know that's hard for a lot of you to consider and to think about. I know it was hard for me when my mentors first said this to me, but it's really true. It goes against everything we've ever been taught, everything we've ever been trained. We're trying to make money, right? But that's not the purpose of trading. The real purpose of trading is to be in sync with whatever market you are trading. Making or losing money is simply the result or byproduct of that process. So you see, making money should not be our, our goal or that should not be our main purpose. That's just the result. That's just the reward we get at the end. What should be the main purpose is to be in sync. I mean, think of it logically. If you're in sync with a stock, most likely you're going to make money or you're going to have a successful trade. If you're out of sync, when you're buying, when the market you're trading wants to go lower, most likely it's going to result in a loss. So that should be your goal, being in sync. That's why we follow the trend at Specialist Trading, because that will increase our odds for being consistent, for being profitable. It's not a guarantee. There are no guarantees in trading. So if you think if you come here today or you think that someone has a 100% foolproof method that never loses, I mean, that's ridiculous. Everything in life goes through some type of loss or some type of drawdown. But you want consistency, a two-step forward, one-step back approach. And the only way to do that is by being in sync with whatever market you're trading. Now, it took a while for me to, to grasp that because I was, you know, a young kid in my 20s, and I thought, wait a minute, you know, I just want to make money. I want to make a ton of money. But finally, when I did grasp that, that's when my trading started to turn around. So if you can grasp this concept, if you can fully believe it and think, okay, I'm not going to be concerned about how much money I make or how much I'm supposed to make on this one trade or where I'll be at the end of the year, but mainly focus on being in sync, you will see that consistency come into your trading. Now, 
how do we become in sync with the market? I know we've all been trained you know, to pick tops and pick bottoms, but how do we change things around in order to become uh, in sync with the market? Well, we apply the tool that I've been using for roughly about four decades, and that's the Pet D. You've heard me talk about it before. It was a tool I was first introduced to on the floor of the exchange, but at that time, we used to call it the formula because it was a basic formula that you had to calculate almost on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. So it was very cumbersome. We couldn't use it for end uh, day trading or even hourly or four-hour trading. We had to basically calculate it at the end of the day to see what was going to happen on the next daily bar, okay? Now, it's not a predictive tool. It doesn't tell you how high or how low something will go. It's not a system. It's not a strategy. It's simply a great trend identifier. And it's a proprietary color bar algorithm because we wanted to take all the hard work out of it for you. I didn't want to present this and say, okay, well, here's the formula. And you basically will not be able to relax for the next uh, 10 hours while the market, while you're watching the market, you'll have to be calculating this at every moment. So what we did at ProTrader Strategies and myself at Specialist Trading, we uh, had the help of some programmers and we developed it into a proprietary color bar algorithm. We're keeping the formula in-house but that's okay because the secret to the PET-D is knowing and how to apply it. And I'm going to share with you a great technique for applying it today. So here's how it works. If you see a series of green bars, the most basic form of this is telling you you're in a short-term uptrend, as you see right here. Now, as you can see, some of these bars are dark green. What that means is that the day closed down or the bar was down. So I know a lot of you are used to the, you know, you know, the uh, um, Western way of, of viewing candlesticks where an up day is green and a down day is red. Well, that was just something developed by, uh, you know, the West in order for people to understand the concept of candlesticks. Because when I first started looking at candlesticks, they weren't viewed that way. Uh, they were basically an up day was a hollow day. The way you see here, the back of the screen was white and the hollow up day was white. And if you had a down day, it was black. So, Westerners couldn't understand that concept. It took a lot of time. So what they said was, we'll make it easy. If it's an up day, we'll block it out green. If it's a down day, we'll block it out red. That way you figure out that you close lower than the open or you close higher than the open, okay? But that's not the traditional way of looking at it. We're using the traditional way. So if we didn't have the PET D applied, you would either have white bars uh, outlined or dark or, 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 or black colored bars. Well, now with the PET D applied, you can have a down day that's a dark green, but still in an uptrend, as you can see, a short-term uptrend. So even though you've had a series of down days here, none of these down days were colored red because you're still in an uptrend. That's the beauty of applying the PET D. Same thing holds for a downward trend. You'll have a series of red bars. This tells you you're in a downtrend. Now look at this example right here. We had an up day outlined red, another up day outlined red, followed by a, color, a couple of down days here, and then another day up colored red. This entire rally here, all these bars were colored red. This is the beauty of the pet D. It was telling you that even though you bounced for a good week, the short-term trend was down. So rather than looking at that as the change of trend that we had bottomed out and it was time for the market to go higher, the pet D was telling you, no, this is, don't get fooled by this. This is just a bounce in a short-term downtrend. Now, sure, you bounce for about five days. These are selling opportunities. And this would have been a great idea because on this little bounce, look what happened weeks later. You're making lower lows. Now, important thing to know, the pet D is not a system nor a strategy. In other words, it doesn't generate buy and sell signals. I can't tell you how many emails I get from my new students on a daily basis saying, well, Steve, where is the pet D telling me to buy? The pet D doesn't do that. The techniques we apply to the pet D can do that, but the pet D is simply a translator. It simply translates what the market is doing on a tick by tick basis, okay? It's a unique color bar tool based on momentum that is designed to show you on a tick by tick basis when a trend has most likely begun. begun. So remember, Think of it as a translator, not as a predictive tool. It doesn't tell you how high or how low. It doesn't tell you where to buy or where to sell. It's simply translating on a tick-by-tick -tick basis what the market wants to do. What a great edge to have. It's like you have your own secret language with the market, and it's telling you what it wants to do. Your job, then, is simply to be in sync with it. All right, let's look at this chart of Aetna here. Here's how the process is applied on our platform. This is our PTS Primo charting platform. You, hear, you see here, all you have is our up, upper green strategy tab, 
with all our strategies and methods, all you have to do is click on the pet D. Once you click that on, the bars automatically change. So this is how simple we've made it. As you can see, the beauty of the pet D is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. Once you know, you can apply any strategy to that direction. You will be in sync with the trend and therefore you will have that higher level of consistency. This is the secret to consistent trading, being in sync with the trend. All right, now here are the advantages. Obviously, to using the PAT-D, it gives you the security of trading in sync with the current trend, something most likely that most traders have never experienced before. For example, if you look at this chart in AJRD, you'd say, well, okay, we're in a downtrend, right? But look what happens when you add the sensitivity of the PAT-D. Now, obviously the bars were red, but look what we have here, three green bars. This is usually an early warning that the trend is about to change. So where most people would be caught off guard saying, well, we're in a downtrend, we're not going higher, we're, we're obviously going lower. The pet D was, is so sensitive, it was giving you a warning that most likely we're going to change the trend. And then look what happened. How about this example in AE? The majority of the bars here are green. We only have one red bar, so that's not enough to tell us that the trend has changed. But then look what happens here. We have a series of red bars, three red bars. Now, this is not a signal telling you to go short. It's not a signal telling you to exit all your long positions. It's simply a warning, okay? But look at the warning it gave you while everyone else thought, well, we're just kind of uh, hovering up here before we break out and go higher. Look how it gave you that early detection that it wanted to go lower. Remember, the PET D is simply a translator giving you warnings and insight as to what it wants to do. You can apply it to any market any time frame in any direction. It also can be applied as a stop placement method. Now let me share with you one of our most basic ways to use it as a stop placement. As you can see here, let's say we had a buy signal, okay, right here in uh, BV. And you have a nice profit, maybe you exited a portion of your position and you just wanna let the rest run, but you're not exactly sure where to get out if it happens to, to lose its momentum. Well, on the very first red bar, you could have placed a stop right below that, and days later, you would have exited and said, well, okay, I'm out of the trade entirely, but look what happened after that. Not a bad little place to place your stop, right? Or what if you went short here, as we see here in the uh, New Zealand Canadian dollar? You could have gotten short, you have a nice profit, you wanna protect that profit. Here's our very first green bar. Well, you place a stop just above that and you would have exited before the trend changed. So you can use it to protect yourself as a stop placement. But here is probably the most powerful way because it generates numerous trading techniques that are based on the color bars. So this is what I'm gonna share with you today. One of our simplest but most powerful trading techniques to apply with the pet D, all right? Okay, so here are the basic rules. And remember, when I say trading technique, the difference is this is not a full-fledged strategy. What's the difference between a technique and a strategy? Well, a strategy has all the rules encompassed in the method. In other words, you know exactly where to enter, you know exactly where to exit, you know exactly where to place your stop, and you know all the ins and outs of the money management, how many shares, how many contracts to buy or sell, where to move your stop up if it goes in your favor. You know, all this is included or should be included in a basic strategy. A technique, on the other hand, is just one of the pieces of the puzzle of a strategy. In other words, it's basically highlighting a high probability entry. That's about it. Doesn't tell you exactly where to enter. Doesn't exactly tell you where to exit. It doesn't tell you where to place your stop or money management. So please be advised, this is not a strategy. I know at the end of this presentation, many of you will say, well, Steve, that's is great. I wanna start using this. Where do I exit? Where do I place my stop? Well, that's all included in our course. But for right now, I'm just sharing with you the spotlight on how the pet D will tell you where these high probability entry points are, okay? All right, with that said, here's the buy pattern. And remember, if this doesn't make sense right now, I'm gonna show you a ton of examples. So don't worry, and this is all being recorded. You can study this at your own leisure. All right, here's what the buy pattern should look like. We're gonna look for price to trade above an all green pivot high. Buy when price trades one tick or one pip above the pivot high. So what does this mean? I'm sure a lot of you are thoroughly confused. Well, here is a pivot high. It's a three bar pattern, all right? One, two, three. And usually, looks like this. You have a high on this bar, bar number one. Bar number two makes a higher high. And then bar number three makes a lower high. So you kind of have this kind of like arrow shape right here if you connected them all, all, right? 
What we want to see in this pattern is that all three of these bars, bar one, two, and three, are colored green by the PET D. Doesn't matter what time frame, doesn't matter uh, you know, what else all the other bars are colored. We just want to see that three, these three bars are colored. If you see that, you want to buy once price trades above there. Now, the standard format is one tick. It, remember, this is not a system, it's not a strategy. So if you say, well, Steve, I want to see it close above there, or Steve, I want to see it trade a half a point above there. That's up to you. That's what we encourage. We want you to study this and decide for yourself where you'd like to enter. Remember, consistency is about you making your own decisions, not me. I'm not giving you a system here. I'm, I'm sharing with you a high probability setup. So this is where you'd want to buy once price trades above there. Okay, that's it. I know a lot of you are saying that's it. I mean, it's that simple. Yes, it is. And I'll show you exactly how that works. Now let's look at the sell side of the uh, format. It's the exact same concept. We just turn everything upside down. We're going to look for price to trade below an all red pivot low. We're going to sell when price trades one tick or one pip. It's just, you know, use your discretion uh, trading below that pivot low. So a pivot low is the opposite now. It's a three bar pattern. One, two, three. This could be five minute bars. They could be monthly bars. It makes absolutely no difference. Bar number one makes a low right here. Bar number two makes a lower low. And then bar number three makes a higher low. So you have this kind of a V pattern here if you connected the dots. What we want to see is all three bars colored red by the pet D. All right, this is our setup. Once we see that, we're going to sell or go short once price trades one tick, half a point, a full point if you want. Maybe it has to close there, it's up to you. But once price trades below there, you should be short because this is a high probability technique setup, okay? That's it. Let's look at some stock examples. I know a lot of you are saying that's it. I mean, come on, this can't be that simple. Remember, trading should be simple. The reason why trading is so complicated is because the trader makes it more complicated than it has to be. It doesn't have to be complicated. I remember when I first started out, you should have seen my screen where I was trading on the floor. I had maybe 20 indicators, all these oscillators, overbought, oversold tools, all these moving average crossovers. I was looking at support and resistance. I was looking at the MACD. I mean, it was, it was amazing. You could even figure out what I was looking at. Okay, I had candlesticks up there. On top of that, I had, knew all the earnings. I knew all the supply and demand. I knew where all the orders were in my book because I was making markets in these stocks. And on top of that, I was subscribing to all these newsletters. My trading was so complicated, it's amazing how I even got a trade off because I had to have all these requirements come into play before I could even make a decision. Once my mentors taught me to simplify things, that's actually when my trading started to become consistent. You see, consistency is based in simplicity. So keep your trading simple and you will uh, get on that road to consistency, which I know you're searching for. Okay, so here's an example in EA, all right? This is in uh, the end of March coming into April this past month. Looking at this chart, someone would say, well, Steve, we're only looking at about five bars here. There's not enough information. I really can't tell what's going on. In fact, the only thing I can say is that the guy in that chat room that talks about this stock says that there's major resistance here. We can't get through that. This is where all the institutions are selling, all right? This is where all the banks, all the big uh, bucks are. And so most likely, if we get to this point, you should sell unless we break out of that, okay? All right, so there's main selling pressure there. You don't want to touch this, right? All right, this is the way I used to trade. What is the market telling you? Remember, this is how we usually make our decisions based on someone or something else telling us what's going on. Why don't we just, why don't we just listen to what the market's telling us, what it thinks is going on, what it wants to do? So we listen to our translator, the pet D. Click it on, on our platform. It's already pre-formatted. And guess what? Market is telling us, don't worry about resistance. Don't worry about Fibonacci support, uh, you know, uh, levels, uh, resistance levels. Don't worry about volume. Don't worry about earnings. I want to go higher. Until I change my mind, the market is telling us it wants to go higher. So we should look for some structure in terms of buying. And what do we have here? We have that three bar pattern. Bar number one, bar number two, bar number three, making that type of arrow, okay? So we know that we want to trade. We should say we want to buy once we trade one or two ticks above. As you can see, the very next bar, we traded there, we got long, and coming into the middle, end of April, stock was up 17 points. Someone could say, but wait a minute, I mean, you weren't looking at the earnings, you weren't looking at the jobless claims, you weren't looking at the volume or the institutions. 
I stopped looking at that stuff 40 years ago and I'm still here. So obviously it really doesn't really make that much sense to look at it. If I can continue trading without relying on those things, don't you think that possibly you could simplify your trading and do the same thing? Absolutely no reason to look at that if you're trading. Now, if you're investing, sure, you do need to know about the inner workings of a company, what, who's the CEO, what the plans are long-term for the uh, direction of the company, but we're not investing here, all right? We're just simply holding on to things for weeks or months. Now, once again, the beauty of this is if you happen to miss that, there are many more signals generated along the way. There's another one that if you missed the first one, you could have gotten into the second one as well. All right, here's another example in United Airlines, all right? Now, this was in February before the airlines really fell out of bed. This is a perfect example of why you really don't need to look at fundamental news to trade. Because at this point, the stock was basically in a holding pattern. Nothing negative had happened yet. We we're in the beginning to the middle of February. Someone could have said, well, Steve, we're just kind of pausing here to go higher. We're, we have a nice base. Looks like we have some major support. I'm going to be a buyer in this, okay? I like the airlines. Well, what does the market think? Click on the pet D and the market was actually telling us it wanted to go higher until it changed its mind. And now it has a series of red bars, enough for us to think that it wants to go lower. On top of that, what do we see here? One, two, three. Here's that uh, pivot low, which we are searching for. So here's a great technique to go short if we trade below there. Now, two days later, we could have gotten short. Now remember, this is in February. This is well before the news of the pandemic came out and how it was going to affect the economy and flying was going to hit a stalemate and how it was going to affect the airlines industry. So you see how the market was telling us well before that news came out because the market told us in advance it wanted to go lower. So why should you wait to find out that the, the airlines are in a terrible industry to be investing or trading in when it was telling you itself it wanted to go lower in mid February. And we obviously know what happened after that. You could have potentially captured 60 points to the downside. And once again, the beauty of this was if you missed that, don't worry. It gave you many other chances to get in on these other pivot lows as well. Now, please remember, this is not a strategy. I know a lot of you, your eyes are lighting up right now. You're probably saying, wait, Steve, I have a question. I have a question. Where do I exit? Or, or how many uh, shares should I sell? Or can, uh, what are the puts you would recommend? Remember, those are your decisions. We're just here as an educator to teach you what to look for. How you trade it is entirely up to you. Think of someone who wanted to learn how to swim, okay? The, the instructor would show you how to swim, would sh share with you all these different ways and different uh, you know, strokes and different ways in which you can maneuver in the water. But ultimately, you're going to have to be the one swimming, right? Once you go into the ocean, once you go into the pool, you can't have an instructor there with you all the time. You have to make your own decisions on how you're going to be swimming. It's the same way with trading. I mean, you shouldn't be coming to a website every night to find out what to do. You shouldn't be waiting for earnings every uh, quarter to find out what to do. You shouldn't be looking at guys on TV, finding out what they're going to say to do. You should be making those decisions on your own. So that's what we teach you, what to look for, so that ultimately you can be a consistent trader by making your own decisions. Here's another example and beyond, okay? This was in mid-April. As we see here, the stock was headed lower and then all of a sudden it changed its mind right here in the second week or first week of April. Well, look at the buy signals you could have taken advantage of. This was coming into the last week in April. Potentially, you could have captured 40 points to the upside if you took this very first one. Now, this was in April. Let's go back a little bit further when the market was falling out of bed in March, okay? Look at how the market was telling us it wanted to go lower. The exact same stock, but a little earlier time frame. okay? We knew well in advance, way up here, that the market wanted to go lower. Why? Because the bars were colored red. And what do we have here? One, two, three. There is our pivot lows. So you could have gotten short there for potential 60 points to the downside. So you see the beauty of being in sync with the trend. You see the difference now of how much better or more consistent trader you'll be instead of trying to pick tops and bottoms, trying to buy at lows and sell at highs, you just be in sync. Just you know, swim with the current at your back. As we look at VRSN, this was in April, coming to the end of April into May. Obviously, in hindsight, you want to be long this stock. It's been going straight up, right? But look at how the pet D told us well in advance, way back here. Now, if we applied this technique I shared with you today, you could have gotten long at the beginning of April 
and potentially capture 30 points. Here's another perfect example of how you have down days here. You see, this was a down day, and this was a down day, and this was a down day. These were all buying opportunities. Why? Because they were down days in an uptrend. These are buying opportunities. They're not uh, you know, selling opportunities where you see a red candlestick bar. As we look at CVX, all right, once again, this was in beginning to middle of February. Bars were originally green right here. It changed its mind and it said, you know what? I want to go lower. It created this three bar pattern. You could have gotten short in the second week of February, potentially capturing 55 points. The market is always telling you what it wants to do. So why would you listen to external news? Why would you listen to some guy on a webinar? <laughs> why not just listen to the market? Now, let's go through the process again in NEM. All right, as we can see here, obviously it looks like we're in an uptrend, but what do we have here? We have a doji. This is characteristically, if you follow traditional candlesticks, a topping formation in the market. So maybe we wanna sell. Maybe we're gonna come into a little bit of trouble here. But what is the pet detailing us? Well, on our platform, we made it simple. You just have to click it on, and we see that the bars are all green. So even though traditionally some techniques would tell you that it's topping out, the market is telling us it wants to go higher until it changes its mind and colors the bars red. All right. And on top of that, what do we have here? One, two, three, one, two, three. We have these two pivot highs. So rather than think the market's topping out, it's actually given us some structure to get in. So you could have purchased right here. This was on April 6th. You could have purchased again right here and potentially captured 15 points coming into May. Okay. See how simple this is. Trading is simple when you get out of the way. Now let's follow the same process to the downside in AVGO, okay? This was in February. Once again, looks like basically nothing's happening. Sure, we're kind of going a little bit lower, but we're still in a holding pattern. When we apply the PET D, we see now that we have a series of red bars. The PET D is telling us, it's giving it a warning that we may want to go lower. And on top of that, we have this three bar pattern of a pivot low. So if you want to, remember it's your decision, this is not a system where you have to trade it if, all the time in order to get the statistics. This is simply a technique with no statistics applied or involved. It's your discretion where you want to get in, where you want to get out. So you can't apply statistics to that. It's simply a highlighting a high probability area to enter on the downside. Had you done that, you would have gotten short right here on the, I believe, the 20th of February, well before the market fell out of bed and potentially captured 150 points in just about a month's time. Not a bad little setup, right? Only based off of trading with the trend. And once again, you see all the bars continue to stay red, even though you bounced up here, here's an update, here's another update, look what happened. You had an update here, that's not a buying opportunity, that's a selling opportunity, look what happened after that. Another buy, a buy update, a selling opportunity, okay? And the beauty is, with once you're in sync with the trend, you had more chances to get short. Here's an example in Netflix, okay? This was coming into April. We were originally red, telling us that the market wanted to go lower. And what did we have here? We had that three bar pivot low. So here's how you would have applied this technique. Sure, you would have gone short if you traded below there, but what happened? The market changed its mind. It never went below that level. That's why we wait for it to trade below. It's not just enough to say, well, I'm going to sell short at the market. You want confirmation that you're going below there. Because had you sold at the market, you most likely would have had a losing trade. What we do is we wait for it to trade below. It never did, so there was no trade. And then look what happened. The market changed its mind. It started having a series of green bars. So the market said, you know what? I changed my mind. I want to go higher. That's okay. We never make a predetermined uh, you know, uh, prediction about what the market's going to do. We're simply following. We're simply jumping on board whatever the market wants to do. Wants to go higher, great, we're buyers now. Changes his mind, wants to go lower, great, we're sellers now. Never try to outsmart the market. Just go with it. That's the secret to success. So once it changed its market and said, uh, it's mine, I should say, and, and decided to go up, we look for this pattern right here. One, two, three. You could have entered right here on the 30th of March potentially captured 75 points to the upside. Okay, remember that first chart we looked at at the beginning of the presentation, sharing with you how most traders trade and why they have difficulty in finding out what the trend was? 
Well, that was in letter W. Now, obviously, we're in a downtrend here, right? Not too hard to tell that. How could we have traded this? Well, once we trade, we usually get caught at the very low, and this is what usually happens. So how does the pet D help us? It's as simple as clicking on the pet D on the PTS Primo charts and seeing the colors automatically be applied. And you see how well in advance, way up here, we knew that the stock was telling us it wanted to go lower. We didn't have to wait for any earnings. We didn't have to wait for news of a pandemic. We didn't have to wait for what some guy was saying in a trading room. All we had to do was listen to the market because it's always telling you what it wants to do. So the market was telling us it wanted to go lower well in advance. So once we knew that, apply this technique and potentially could have captured 70 points to the downside. Now, once it changed its mind and said, you know what? I've decided I want to go higher. Well, we changed direction as well. And we could have potentially captured 60 points, okay? Totally, uh, on, on balance there, there was uh, roughly about 130 points you could have captured. Now, we're not saying you would have made 130 points because that's basically, uh, that's all, you know, the, uh, the major amount of points that were available using this uh, technique in this time frame. But let's say you made, uh, you know, if you had 130 points, let's say you uh, only captured a, a, a third of that, okay? So maybe only 40 or 50 points or, or 30 points. That's still not a bad little trade there in a couple of months. Let's say you only made 10 points. That's still a nice little profit there for a straight down and then straight up market. All right, let's look at some other markets because we know not everyone just trades stocks. Let's look at the E-mini S&P. This is the market I usually trade. All right, we have a 10 minute chart here. This was last, uh, what is this? The fifth, so I believe that was Tuesday. Okay, the market was going higher, but it looks like it kind of stalled here. We apply the PED D and the market's telling us it's just stalling, but it still wants to go higher. So we look for that pattern. We see that we have it right here. We could have entered here pre-market and in the next three hours, 25 points potentially could have captured. That's roughly $1,200 per contract, okay? Not a bad little setup, right, for one day. And if you missed that, look at all the other setups you could have taken advantage of. That was on a 10-minute chart. What about a five-minute chart, all right? This was on the 1st of May, May 1st. This is this is all very recent, okay? Obviously, we're going lower. The pet D is confirming it. All the bars are red. We see that we have this pivot low. We want to go short once we trade one tick below there. And look what happened, okay? This is a roughly at 8.40 uh, in the morning on the 1st, and this was on a five-minute chart, holding on to roughly uh, to about the next two or three hours. You could have potentially captured 20 points. That's $1,000 per contract, all right? So once again, we're not saying where to get out. It's up to you. Some of our traders, our students, like to use this and get out with a point. Others like to stay in as long as possible. Is one better than the other? Absolutely not. You're in charge of your trading. Our job is to teach you what to look for and to give you different opportunities and different variables to execute. Your job is to decide what makes you feel the most comfortable and then apply whatever one you want. But we don't tell you how to trade. You're supposed to tell yourself what the decision-making process is. How about the Forex, okay? Currency pair traders, here's a great example in the British pound, uh, Japanese yen. Here's an hourly chart. Obviously, it was, it was going straight up here. This was on the 30th of, A of April. Once you apply the PET D, you see that the PET D was giving you early warning on the 29th or the 30th of April that it wanted to go higher. Once it did that, you simply look for these setups. You could have captured potentially 250 pips, roughly about $2,500 potentially per contract. All right. Now, once it changed its mind, the bars changed color. So you just reverse. Now you're a seller. You're not trying to pick a top or a bottom. You're simply going with the market and potentially you could have captured 200 pips, $2,000. Remember, this is just potentially. We're not saying it's up to you to decide where and when you want to get out. All right, so let's recap. We share with you a simple trading technique using the PET D that pinpoints quick momentum moves in any direction and in any time frame. So ask yourself before you ask me questions, do you think this edge could have helped your trading this past year? How about this past month you think it could have helped you? I think the answer would be a resounding yes. Because of that, we have a great offer for you today, a great discount. We're gonna offer you the Pet D. This is our Pet D Early Trend Detector, and this is the roadmap for any market 
It's our course that will teach you these different techniques as well as have it automatically appear on your screen. But we're not going to stop there. All right, we'll include the add-on. Let's say if you want to use TradeStation, if you want to use Metastock, that will automatically color the bars. But if you want to make it simpler, where everything is just one click away and already pre-formatted, you need our PTSP My Charting Platform. This is the educational portal that you've been searching for. It's 43 years of things that I've accumulated all on one platform, simple to access and really easy right there. So what we're going to do is for today only, if you become a course member of the Pet D, we're going to throw in a full year free of the platform. This is a great opportunity. We're not just going to give you the Pet D. We're also giving you one-click access to our buy sell line. We have four proprietary ways of viewing this a way to look at the overall trend because the Pet D shares with you the short-term trend, but the buy sell line is the overall trend. If you go on to our Twitter page, you'll see I give a lot of examples of using enhanced buy sell line in, in helping you to trade the overall trend. We also have a, a tool, an indicator I developed with ProTrader Strategies. It's our strength of trend tool. It has an uncanny ability to give you insight as to when a trend may be running out of steam, either to the upside or the downside. A great, great tool. This is also included. Comes with a signal scanner. You can scan nightly basis for buy and, uh, uh, buy and sell or up in uh, green arrows or down, I uh, should say, green bars or red bars for the pet D to see where a stock you're looking at or a currency pair or, or a future is currently. We also have over 90 of the most pro prominent technical indicators along with auto-generated exit levels for you and personalized tech support. This is all yours included free for a full year along with many other things included as well. Just don't have enough time to go over all of them. So trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the Pet D course. Take advantage of this. This is a great discount, including a great offer today with limited uh, time. You'll be able to actually uh, apply for this with payment plans. Here's what we're offering today. You're going to get the Petty application, the course, the one year of the platform for $29.95, and we're also going to include payment plans. So if you can't come up with $29.95, don't worry. For a small deposit, you can still be up and running. Pro Trader Strategies, my sister site, is in charge of all the discounts, all the tech support. They're very flexible. They'd be very happy to work with you. If you can't come up with $29.95, once again, for a small deposit, you can structure a payment plan with them, and you can be up and running as early as today. Remember, this includes one year of the platform. One more thing I didn't also talk about, which also comes with this, is the very bottom here of the uh, bullet points, educational correspondence. What this is, is you're going to get my personal email address. You can contact me with any questions whenever you'd like. Through the weekend, in the middle of the night, I was answering emails prior to this presentation today from students of ours in other courses. So with any class we have, you're uh, able to contact me whenever you'd like. This comes with it as well. So why not learn from someone who's been using this for the past four decades? This is the beauty of the Pet D, not in knowing the formula, but in knowing how to apply it to your own trading. I really feel strongly that the Pet D will take your trading to the next level. So here's how to take advantage of this great offer. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. Once again, they're in charge of all the discounts, all the payment plans. I would suggest, highly suggest, calling them directly. There's absolutely no obligation. Uh, you can call them for more information about setting up a payment plan or about the discount. Call them at 310-598-6677. Now, that link you see at the very bottom will take you to the sign-up page. If you'd like to sign up, but it's not a live link, you'd have to copy and paste that onto a browser. But if you look on the chat box on the GoToWebinar column on the far right, they have just posted a live link in the chat box area. So all you have to do is click that on and it will automatically take you to a live browser and you can view that, uh, that uh, info page there, okay? Now, I promised you I would answer the questions at the very end. We have about 10 or 15 minutes left. So if you have any questions, now is the time. Just go to your question and answer box and type in what you're interested in and I will promise to answer all your questions, okay? Uh, okay, first question, does the Pet D repaint? Very good question. And the answer is no. This is, I can't tell you, in fact, we designed it this way. Uh, so specifically, you wouldn't have to worry about it repainting. I, I know when I first started using uh, indicators, when the platform first came into to, to well-being, I'm, I won't say the names because some of them are still around. But in the 80s, when I first started using platforms and in the 90s, 
I used to look at some of these indicators and I would get so excited saying, boy, this is amazing. These things, you know, are color bars and they tell you exact bottom and the exact top. And then all of a sudden I'd look at it like a day later and the, the colors had changed. And I thought, what's going on here? And then I figured out that they repaint, they adjust with the environment of the market. And so this is really a disservice to traders. You want things to stay the same. You want things to be cut and dry. So the pet D, the beauty of the pet D is that it never repaints. Once a bar has closed, let's say you're looking at a daily bar. Once a bar has closed, it stays that color. It will never repaint. Now, having said that, while the bar is still in play, in other words, let's say you're looking at today's action. Now, uh, I don't know what the market's doing right now since this is not a live static, uh, or this is a static PowerPoint presentation. I don't have access to what the markets are doing. But when I left, the market was going relatively higher, okay? Let's say that day the bar on the S&P 500 was green. Now, while I've been talking, let's say something happened and the market just fell out of bed. Well, it would, for all intents and purposes, if the PET D uh, had structured it according to the formula, it could change to the color of red. So during the day, while the bar is still open, it can fluctuate back and forth between green and red. That's why we say always wait for the bar to close before you're applying any technique to it. So it will refluctuate and repaint into a bar. But once that bar has closed, it does not repaint, okay? So it's a very good question. Uh, let's see, someone is asking, you need to know on how to use the, uh, the PTS Primo charts. Uh, you know what, the best thing to do, I would say, is to contact ProTrader Strategies. If you've purchased the PTS Primo charts before, I know that there are a lot of videos and a lot of uh, uh, great informational education available on that. So just contact Pro Trader Strategies. They should have sent you those videos, or maybe there was a mix up with your email address, but don't worry, they will uh, provide you with that information, okay? So I, I would suggest contact them, call this number, and they will provide you with any instructional information because that comes along with it. There are a lot of informational videos, especially if you purchased it with a strategy that should help you uh, understand that. Remember, this: all of our courses are online. So they should come with some online instruction. Perhaps there was a problem. Maybe if you look in your email, uh, you didn't go to your junk folder. A lot of times that happens and you see that they were actually sent to you, but they went to your spam or something because they thought there was an advertisement. So check that out. And if it's still having trouble, just contact ProTrader Strategies. They're very flexible. Plus they're very, uh, uh, you know, uh, much heads on and wanting to work with our uh, uh, students and with our members. Okay. Um, let's see. So you give advantages of the pet D uh, aside stop placement security. What are the tips about the pet D? Okay. Well, there are. I would venture to say there are dozens, if not, I would say possibly hundreds of different uses for the pet D. For example, I just share with you one of the different ways in which to apply the pet D. In the course, you get a total of four different ways to apply the pet D. All right. I would venture to say that there are hundreds of ways of which to apply the PET-D. I'm always talking about more. I'm giving different webinars about them and stuff, but you'll find out different uses and it comes in the course. You'll see different uses. You'll also see uh, different ways to apply it as a stop. There are just so many ways and we have higher levels of PET-D education. You may want to ask for more with Pro Trader Strategies that go into great detail. I just gave a, um, an advanced class on the PET-D to advanced members. I gave a, a three-day college uh, which was just for advanced members, where I talked about many different ways in which to apply the PET-D, almost as close to making it a strategy as possible. So there are classes like that as well. You may want to contact ProTrader Strategies. But with the basic course we're talking about today, you're going to get four different ways in which to trade it, which is more than enough. You're also going to get the stop placement ways in which to trade it. And, and just, you know, it's a great, great tool, and you'll see more ways along in these free webinars that I use it as well, okay? What we encourage you as a Pet D course member is to look for things because we want you to, to tinker under the hood and find uh, ways that work for you. This is what we encourage. Remember, we're not here to say, this is how you trade it, simply do it and do what we say. I mean, that goes against our philosophy. We're encouraging you and we want you to use uh, your own applications to come up with different ways. This is how you become a consistent trader. But in the meantime, we're presenting you with numerous ways on how to trade it, okay? Great, great questions. Um, so it doesn't. So someone is asking the platforms you can apply the PET D to. Sure, you can apply the most of the major platforms. Thinkorswim uh, does not allow us to place the PET D on their platform, but what they do allow us is they said we can use their data feed. If you're a Thinkorswim uh, user, 
just simply use our data feed. We provide you with a NinjaTrader platform so you can transfer that onto NinjaTrader. But uh, you can also use it for TradeStation, Metastock, MT4, Sierra Charts, uh, just all of the major platforms you can apply it. But once again, you're going to get with this course a full year of our platform. And that is the simplest way to use it. Uh, let me give an example. Let's say you had TradeStation. Well, in order to use it on TradeStation, you'd have to open up the, uh, the indicator settings. And once you got onto that page, you'd have to scroll down and look through all the hundreds of indicators and find the pet D. Once you found the pet D, you'd have to make sure the settings are right and then click on OK. And then you finally get that. It'd probably take you a couple of minutes to do this. With the uh, PTS Primo Charting Platform, everything is pre-formatted. You saw that green strategy tab. All you have to do is click that on and it automatically uh, uh, has the colors appear. So there's nothing really more advanced than taking maybe five seconds out of your time and you see the colors there. And then you can easily click them off that way as well. So it's really a great, great tool. It's so much easier. And the beauty of this offer is you're going to get 12 months free, a full year free of that. And it comes with so many other great advantages as well. So as we close up here, remember, if you're on the fence thinking about this, watch this video. But remember, for a limited time only, you're only going to get one year of the platform and you'll get uh, for a limited time only, you'll be able to structure some type of a payment plan. So watch this video today, but I, if you're really serious about taking your trading to the next level, you saw me give you examples that happened within the last few weeks, some of which has happened within the last few days. I mean, this is happening over and over again. This is a great, great tool. Uh, please come on board. You can structure a payment plan with a small deposit. You can still be up and running. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. There's absolutely no obligation. You could ask them questions about putting together a payment plan. They would ha be happy to work with you over the phone, okay? As we conclude here, I just want to say thanks for taking time out of your Thursday. We usually do these on Wednesday, but because of a previous other uh, uh, webinar I had, I had to change the time, but we usually do this on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. But we'll have an entirely different offer uh, coming next Wednesday. So if you're serious about becoming a Pet D course student of mine, don't hesitate, take advantage of this now because that most likely will, would have been gone by next week, okay? In conclusion, as we take one last look at our disclaimer, thank you so much. I hope you learned a little bit about the Pet D today. I hope you learned about trading with the trend and our philosophy. We always try to teach you in our webinars. We don't just try to sell you something. We also try to teach you a technique or a way in which to increase your odds for consistency. But most especially, we hope you learned something and we look forward to you becoming students of the Pet D course and students of mine at Specialist Trading. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.